Hey guys, it's David from theunlocker.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to unlock your iPhone 5S and that is SIM unlock it, not to be confused with jailbreaking, which is something completely different. Um, now there's a lot of ways to do this. Um, the way I'm gonna show you today is using an unlocking service. Now this does cost money. Basically you have to go buy an unlocking code or an unlocking service from someone on the internet, um, wait for them to send you a code or send you an email that says that your device is unlocked and then finish the procedure out um, and finish unlocking the device. With that being said, um, I do have a link underneath this video on the site to the one that I used for this, but feel free to Google for yourself to find one that you like best. Um, the prices are not cheap and there's a lot of factors that change the pricing. Over time, they just become more expensive and less expensive and they fluctuate with the market. Um, at the moment, they're not cheap. They're close to about $100 to get an unlock code for an iPhone. Um, and that changes depending on the country that the iPhone is from and the carrier that it's locked to. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, and again, the prices might go down at some point. I do remember when they used to be 99 cents. <sighs> Those are the days. Anywho, now they cost closer to 100, but if that is still worth it to you because it is cheaper than buying a new iPhone if you want to use another carrier, Here's the video on how to do that. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is find your IMEI. So we're gonna go to settings, general, about, and then in here you will see IMEI. You wanna write down that number without any spaces and save it for later. Next you need to purchase your unlock code. Um, there's a lot of different places on the internet that'll do this. Um, but basically just go to Google and you can type in iPhone unlock code or even, so you see here's one, um, there's another, um, and you can keep going, finding a bunch of these. One thing to keep in mind though is you want to look for one that has a refund policy. Um, obviously price matters to you. The amount of days that it takes for the unlock code right now, the average is about a week to 10 days. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, and then also uh, you can check out for any reviews that maybe they have to indicate that they are a good company and follow through with their orders. Once you figure out which one you want to use, you simply go through their process of selecting um, the device on their website, make sure you choose the correct version of the iPhone, uh, and then putting in your IMEI, paying them and hitting submit. Okay, once you get the email coming back that says your iPhone is unlocked, uh, mine took about a week from my supplier that I used. Um, then we're gonna go into the phone, go to settings, and then we're gonna go to iCloud. And you're gonna, you're gonna need to sign in with your username and ID um, and your passcode if it prompts you. Um, this is really important if you have bought this phone used or bought it from someone else. Um, you need to make sure that this works because if you ever restore the iPhone or if they ever, the previous owner ever says that it's lost, they can lock it down and you need to have that passcode to get back into the phone. So we don't want that to happen during this process. So the thing to do is to go in here and make sure that you turn off Find My iPhone, put in the Apple ID password before we continue just to guarantee that that won't lock up on us um, whenever we do restore if we have to or whenever we do unlock the phone. Okay, next we are going to turn off the phone. Then we're going to use a SIM unlock tool if you don't have one of these. Um, one did come with the device usually, um, but if you don't have one, a paper clip will do. Uh, and there's a little hole on the side here that you can push this into, and we'll pull out the SIM tray. So this is my T-Mobile SIM. The device is locked to T-Mobile at the moment. So I'm gonna take now an unauthorized SIM. So a SIM that's not the one that originally came with the device. So in this case, it's gonna be AT&T. And then I'm going to put that in and turn on the phone and wait for it to start up. And once it reboots, it may ask you to activate, um, which you'll need to connect to a Wi-Fi network to do that. Um, and then it should just say the new carrier at the top. That's it. It's unlocked. Um, if it doesn't right away do this, um, you're going to plug it into iTunes um, just for a minute and then iTunes will pop up and tell you that it was unlocked or the device will just start working. Um, but mine, luckily, just automatically showed AT&T now, and I'm good to go. Enjoy.